Remember a little while ago when Bryce Wilde came on with a new series called That's TMI and gave us the scoop on poop? Well, he is back, and this time he's helping us make the best of a sweaty situation. Oh, boy. Now, if you've noticed you're sweating like a marathon runner for no reason at all, you're not alone. So, Bryce, why do we sweat in the first place? Before we get into that, I feel like doing these TMI segments, we have to have a good sense of humor. Ha! You know, a, so how about a good dad joke to start? Yeah. What do you, what do you call a broken skunk? I don't know. Out of odor. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, it was pitiful. It was pitiful. Oh. But yeah, that's okay, I'll stop there. They just there. keep on coming. <laughs> yeah. So what do, uh, why do we sweat? Why do we and what sweat? causes us to sweat? Yeah. So generally speaking, it's this simple. Give me your forearm here. Okay. That might feel cool, right? That's but nice. if I had a little bit of water representing perspiration. Yeah. Was that actual sweat? No, 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 it was not. Yeah, I didn't bring out my shirt. <laughs> a lot cooler the second time, admittedly, though. That's true. So that's like sweat. Sweat's number one purpose oh, is to cool us down. Oh, it's to cool your body Absolutely. But there's other reasons we sweat. Okay. You know, this is the buffet eating too much meat. It's called the meat sweats. <laughs> yeah, that's The anxiety gross. sweats. Panic so sweats. Panic I get sweats. them on the show. You'll sweat a little you know, harder, more. Yes. Often that's actually a little bit... Uh, odor, more odor forming, and we'll talk they about why. They kind of stink. They do the kind of stink. The panic sweats stink. They, they do stink. So besides right? anxiety and meat sweats, you know, we can also uh, experience uh, the um, uh, hormonal change sweats, yes. right? Yes. I've a, noticed a definite difference in the level. I was never a big sweater. Right. And now I sweat more. And that happens. And it's not nice. Yeah, yeah. So as we go through puberty, and that's another reason why we might be talking to our 12, 13-year-old son or daughter, yeah. same thing. Hormones can cause us to sweat in a different way. Right. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about the bio of sweat. What is it made of? Well, let's make sweat now. You're asking Shall me before. Is this, this was just sweat? water, so why don't you go ahead and dump in this uh, beaker of water. We actually sweat about two liters or more a day, which is why we hear about replenishing Ooh, electrolytes. That's a so lot. what are electrolytes made up of? Primarily salt, sodium okay. chloride. Let's dump that in. Right? Pink Himalayan salt. That was yeah. the only one I could find in my house. And uh, nice. these are magnesium uh, and uh, phosphate, uh, calcium. Okay. So that's in there. Now hold that for a second. Yeah. Two, two different types of glands that cause sweat. Yeah. Ecrine, which we're making here, it's really the salt and, you know, the various uh, electrolytes that we're getting rid of. Right. But the APO, and that's the really important part, the apocrine glands mm -hmm. stand for fat. They also produce and, and, and emit proteins, even urea. And that's the, oh. that's, the, that's the smelly stuff. So keep mixing that. Oh. I'm going to add a little bit, and this is what not, most people don't realize, oil. Oh, Some people oil are more oily than others. Yeah. And guess what? Sugar, protein, and urea. Because we're so, so sweet. Yeah, exactly. So, not in the right way, so, Some way. people more than others. And we'll talk about a medical condition that might be in a second, actually. Okay. But that, we just made basically sweat in the approximate proportion. see if it smells like so, me. So 99% water. <laughs> and, oh, um, it smells better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and different things cause us to have different odors. So yeah. let's talk about that. Some some concerning things. If you smell musty or, you know, <laughs> moldy, so right? This actually could be a problem with the liver. Okay. Uh, you, you definitely don't want this one, but if you smell... That's not good. No. no. If you smell fishy, the sardines is oh. representation, that could be a big problem with your kidneys. Okay. And then this one is actually a little more common than the other two. Okay. This is a, sort of a sweet vinegary. This is acetone, nail polish remover. Yeah. That could be a problem with diabetes or blood sugar imbalance. You want to talk to your doctor about those. But then there's also foods that cause us to smell a little more. Now, okay. first of all, caveat, please eat more of these. Yes. You know, with the fact that you might sweat a little more, Even you might you have stink, a little more. Eat yeah. It. yeah. Cruciferous yeah. foods, the one thing they have in common, and along with Red meat, by the way, mm -hmm. is sulfur. So when we consume oh. these, there's there's asparagus pee, but there's also asparagus sweat. Oh, it's the same process, is. right? You're smelling a little more. The yeah. allium family, garlic and onion, these cause us to have that sulfur effect. And by the way, guess what? And I hate to say it over the holiday season, but excessive alcohol. That will make you sweat that more. Will, uh, uh, yeah, not necessarily more body odor. Did you watch, see how much wine I just drank? <laughs> Off camera. I won't tell anyone. Okay, um, thank you. But at the end just of the day, it's not just us. the amount of alcohol or all these other things. Exercise, of course, is going to increase our sweat. Yeah. The bacteria on our skin is what defines how much we're going to smell one way versus an, an, another way. Okay. And it's a very unique thing. Just like there's a microbiome in the gut, mm -hmm. there's bacteria on our body. And at the end of the day, there's no real suppressing that there's changing that with a good and healthy diet. And by the way, hyper hygiene. So mm. overly hygienic individuals that scrub themselves too often or use, you know, some of the chemical uh, antiperspirants, we'll talk about that next, they actually might be making the problem worse. There Got is a it. condition called hyperhidrosis. Yeah. This is when you sweat excessively into palms of your hands and feet. Mm -hmm. That's a medical condition. Researchers are still sort of trying to figure out why. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's no real cure for that. But at the end of the day, you can sweat a lot and not be smelly. That's right. Or you can sweat very mi uh, minimally and smell a lot. And stink. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's talk about these. So you want to avoid the heavy 
fragrance, other things called uh, PEG, PEGs, polyethylene, glycol, uh, um, uh, aluminum. This okay. is a probable yeah. issue. And mm -hmm. go to the more natural stuff. But here's a thing that people can do at home in under five minutes stove top. In fact, you don't even have to have a double boiler like this. This will yeah. be on the cityline.tv website, all the instructions mm -hmm. on how to do this. But five uh, ingredients, either a double boiler like I've got, mm -hmm. and we've got three tablespoons here of coconut oil that's been uh, nice. simmering just on the double boiler. Yeah. To that, we're going to add uh, a, a tablespoon of cornstarch. Mm -hmm. And then to that, we're going to add a tablespoon of baking uh, powder. Okay. And, here's, and here's the two special ingredients. So what I've done is I pre-grated uh, some beeswax. Oh, that's what nice. we've got here. And we're going to add this uh, tablespoon of beeswax. And that's going to melt and reduce down to a liquid. Okay. Yeah. Then what you do, and I just happen to like lemon, you choose your favorite essential oil. That's mine. Oh, that smells right? good. And then you're just going to dump a few Clean of those. Clean and fresh. That's it. Clean and fresh. That's going to all boil down. I made this one. And you get these on Amazon. You know, they're yeah. less than a buck each. This is an empty one. Yeah. I made this last night before the show. Smell that. Oh, that's not bad at all. What do you think? I'll even give you that's a That's good. A, well, you a, smell a good. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, huh? you smell yeah? good. Thank it you. It works. <laughs> so if this is what you're using, like even the natural, natural. deodorants work, and a lot of people think it won't, but it all will. Natural. And you might make the problem even like less severe Suppressing, if you use natural. Absolutely. Yeah, very good, Bryce. Thank you for that.